This video shows you the Kyrie Irving problem, from his new pregame ritual, media boycott, and shocking comments about LeBron, this isn't the first period of time Uncle Drew's been stirring up drama. You're about to see the history of Irving making headlines for petty reasons, and stay tuned to see what Kyrie's antics could be costing him in yet another locker room he's disturbing. If you're already subscribed, welcome back to Deflow Hoops. If you're new here and a basketball fan, interested in NBA rankings, predictions, and stories, you came to the right place. Please subscribe and click the bell so you get notified every time I post content, which is at least twice a week. A dude earns the shout out for predicting the Nets will finish top three in the East, no question, and giving a great answer. Top five on the speaks board at the end of 2020 get NBA gear of their choosing, and the board goes back to zero in 2021. The question's coming up, where by leaving your answer down below, you could earn next video shout out. You'll hear all about Irving's most recent questionable actions which have made headlines, but let's first take a trip down memory lane. Kyrie's ego started to take off, and his run-ins with the media started happening at a high volume towards the end of his Cavalier tenure, specifically after Cleveland's 2016 championship run. In Game 7 of the Finals, LeBron made the block to keep the Cavs in it, and Kyrie Irving hit the shot a few minutes later, a three-pointer in the face of Stephen Curry to seal Cleveland its first ever title. From that moment on, Irving seemed to have the world at his fingertips. He had proved haters wrong. He was a stone cold closer. He was a bona fide top three player. The man was the ultimate Robin, demonstrating that Batman needed him just as much as he needed Batman. But from that moment on, it was all downhill. As in the next season on February 17th, 2017, Kyrie revealed to the world that he believes that the earth is flat, saying, quote, what I've been taught is that the earth is round. But if you really think about it from a landscape of the way we travel, the way we move, and the fact that, can you really think of us rotating around the sun and all planets aligned, rotating in specific dates, being perpendicular with what's going on with these planets? Kyrie would later apologize for those comments in 2018, but not before his reputation off the court took a massive hit. After tension built up between the Cavaliers' two superstars during the 2016-17 season, with interviews like these happening, Tristan called LeBron a great father after the Chicago game. What? Yes, he did. Great father. Oh, a great father. father. Oh, I thought he's. Oh, I'm bad. I got. I interpreted that. That's completely wrong. Okay. I thought you said he was a great father to him. I was like, what? Called him a great father. So yeah. what type of parental role has he played for you and your teammates, LeBron? Oh, okay. So you... T uh, yeah, yeah. I, parental role? Uncle Drew was beginning to feel like he was capable of being the first option on a team, and he was tired of being second fiddle. Kyrie would request the trade from Cleveland in the summer of 2017 and was promptly moved to the Boston Celtics for a future first round pick, Isaiah Thomas and Jay Crowder. After Kyrie missed the Celtics 2018 playoff run with knee surgery, the rookie Tatum and sophomore Brown led the Celts to the conference finals where they came up one win short, really one quarter short of making the NBA finals. But when the 2018-19 season was supposed to be a Cinderella story for the healthy Celtics with Kyrie, it turned out to be the opposite of that. Irving called out his less experienced Celtics teammates following a loss, saying, quote, the young guys don't know what it takes to be a championship level team. He subsequently apologized, but New York Knicks and Brooklyn Nets fans taunted Celtics fans with Kyrie's leaving chance, and Irving fueled the fire by turning a preseason proclamation on his plans to re-sign with the team into a mid-season we'll wait and see. He gave aggravated answers to the media and was blatantly getting upset with his teammates and coaches during games in Boston consistently. At the All-Star Game in 2019, he met up with Kevin Durant in a moment that was caught on camera where he blatantly says two max spots, indicating that he was recruiting Durant to a New York team. 2019 saw the Celts get taken care of in the second round and after moving on to Boston to become a number one option two years earlier, opting to join the Nets with Kevin Durant means Kyrie will become a second option again like he was in Cleveland, but this time next to an all-time great scorer. But based on what's been happening with them recently, it doesn't seem like Kyrie's ego is going to take a step back for anyone. Before you see what Kyrie's ego could be costing the Nets in 2021, now into the top headlines he's generated in Brooklyn. 
Irving's tenure in a Nets uniform began with ESPN's Jackie McMullen reporting on his mood swings. The report detailed that when Irving lapses into these funks, he often shuts down, unwilling to communicate with the coaching staff front office and sometimes even his teammates. Nets team sources say one such episode occurred during Brooklyn's trip to China, leaving everyone scratching their heads as to what precipitated it. But even as Mood Swings Gate trended on social media, Durant had his teammate Irving's back at the time. He told McMillan in response to the report, quote, I look at Kyrie as someone who's an artist. You have to leave him alone. You know what he'll bring to the table every night because he cares about the game so much. And while this was all going down in October of 2019, Kevin was correct in saying Kyrie cares a ton about the game and he's still correct with that statement. This calendar year though, Kyrie started to make other things than basketball a priority in his life, and not something normal like starting a family or collecting shoes, but instead filling his spare time trying to stir up as much drama in the headlines as possible so we can see his name popping up all over the internet. Attention something we all crave, but Kyrie's desire to be the first topic in the NBA media at all times is an absolute obsession. Let's take a look at the bombshells Irving's made in just the last few months. When the NBA was trying to book a date for their return after the suspension on March 31st, even though Kyrie wouldn't be playing anyway due to being out after having shoulder surgery, Irving was labeled the disruptor in the process of the NBA trying to return. Because while the players were discussing the other portions of the proposal, Irving, who serves as an elected vice president of the NBA PA, instead pressed on what Woj described as mundane issues. Woj reported that Irving asked if he would be allowed to join the Brooklyn Nets team for the trip to Orlando despite being out for the season with a shoulder injury. Irving then reportedly wondered if he would be allowed to use a sauna at the complex, if he could sit in the stands and cheer his teammates on, or if his sponsors would be allowed to send quote adult beverages to players, and what the food setup would be like in Orlando. All of this was going on when the NBA was trying to work out a date for the season to return. Early in the 2021 campaign, it's been Kyrie's media boycotts that have been in the headlines. Irving issued a statement earlier this month instead of speaking speaking with reporters so that he could quote, ensure that my message is conveyed properly. His plan was apparently to avoid the media all season. Yet because NBA players are required to make themselves available to the media, the league fined him $25,000 last week. Even after the fine though, Irving doubled down and called the media, quote, pawns. Naturally, his decision to make those comments drew pretty harsh criticism, even from Portland star Damian Lillard, who actually called him out on Instagram Live. Then, in one of the most absurd digs you'll ever hear during the NBA Finals, Irving went on Kevin Durant's podcast and took one of the most ridiculous shots at LeBron James. Irving said, this is the first time in my career where I can look down and be like, that motherfucker can make that shot too. Bruh. Where do I even begin with the absurdity of that statement? This man has played with LeBron freaking James, who apparently caught wind of Kyrie's comments and was predictably and quite understandably none too pleased. LeBron said, once I got the whole transcript, I was like, damn. I wasn't like, oh, you tripping? I've been hitting game-winning shots my whole life. I wasn't like that. I was like, damn, because I played with Kyrie for three seasons, and the whole time I was in Cleveland, I only wanted to see him be the MVP of our league. I only cared about his success, and it just didn't align. And finally, the most recent bit of drama Kyrie's been literally stirring up, his recent saging of the TD Garden. You already heard about Kyrie's incidents in Boston, but when presented with his first opportunity to return to his former teammate's home arena to play a game, Irving decided that it'd be best to purify the atmosphere of the arena by burning sage as he walked around the court before the game. While this appears to be a conspicuous shot at his former franchise, this isn't Irving following the path of certain Instagram users trying to feign spirituality with a culturally appropriative trend. The Nets point guard's mother traces her roots back to the Standing Rock Shoe Tribe in North Dakota, and Irving was even honored with a traditional Lakota naming ceremony in 2018. The question now becomes, what exactly was Irving purifying in the TD Garden? Was it the court where the Celtics fans booed him despite not traveling with the Nets the last season's game at the arena? Was it the space where his former teammates with whom he clashed heads with during his Boston tenure? Is it the coach's chair where he and Brad Stevens would have disagreements on game strategies? I don't know, you let me know down below. 
But now, here's what all of this drama could be costing the 2021 Nets. If you saw my last video, then you know the potential of this powerhouse Nets team, and even with Durant and Irving looking sensational in their first two preseason games, if Kyrie keeps popping up in the media at this high of a frequency all throughout the season, then the chemistry between the two superstars will take a significant hit. Kevin Durant was asked about Kyrie's saging postgame, and while he came up with a clever answer dismissing the weirdness of Irving, these types of unnecessary distractions will inevitably take a toll on Durant mentally. Given how good Easy Money Snipers look so far in his return, Kyrie's antics pose a serious threat to Kevin keeping that up. Something that could cause tension is whether or not Irving will be able to take a step back into the number two option, because in mid-season form, Durant is a top two player on Earth, and Irving's going to have to sacrifice shot attempts and let KD run the show in big moments at times. And whether or not Kyrie's overly inflated ego is capable of stepping back into the second option, is something that's truly concerning to me. But what's the biggest problem with Kyrie, in your opinion? Best answer gets next video shout out. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DFlowHoops for updates on the channel and the biggest NBA news. Keep watching some of my recent uploads. This was DFlow, and I'll see you next video.